The death of a Bemidji man has raised questions over the investigation into his death. Our Josh Peterson shows us tonight how a rally is calling for justice for that man. It was September 3rd when the body of 23-year-old Aaron Krabenhoff was discovered in this second floor apartment. But questions have been raised over how Aaron died and how the investigation has been handled. There was obvious, obvious, uh, uh, so, yeah, obvious foul, foul play, play no in the apartment. It, there was no investigation done. I was standing in my brother's apartment, and I called Detective Holden the day we came here to clean out the stuff from his I'm house. Fine. It's been 30 days since Aaron's death, and while few details regarding his passing have been released, authorities say the investigation is still ongoing. This case remains very much active. And in that, um, it's also important to remember that uh, Minnesota statute classifies that data as non-public. Friends and family gathered in front of Aaron's old apartment to march for their loved one. Preliminary reports suggest suicide, but friends and family feel different. Everybody knew Aaron, and it's just like, you know, what happened What happened with Aaron is pretty obvious that he, he didn't kill himself because he, he wasn't a quitter. You know, Aaron wasn't that type of person to kill himself. Justice for Aaron! While it's not out of the ordinary, the body has undergone two autopsies. And once the investigation is fully completed, more information will be released. Once the investigation is done, um, whether it's referred for charges or it's closed indefinitely, that uh, report then becomes public. In a march that traveled through the city, they came to a pause at the Lake Bemidji waterfront, where Aaron's father shared his thoughts. Aaron did not leave us. He was taken. As the investigation continues, law enforcement encourages anyone with information in this case to still come forward. In Bemidji, Josh Peterson, Lakeland News. And again, if you have any information, you're asked to contact the Bemidji Police Department. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.